pilots have a different view of weather while flying through it. Santiago Borja uh, is a pilot and a photographer, and though his job is his hobby, he's able to capture some amazing images. Melissa Constanzer spoke with him about his skills and how he manages to combine them together. Of course, at first I was only a pilot, but then I got lucky um, to fly international routes. So we spent a lot of time in, in the airplane and usually with uh, extra crews. So in the end, you might have a couple hours or more of time you can use, you know, if you can rest, you can eat. And then I started, you know, doing photography, uh, but then focused on storms because I've always loved weather. And I was wondering if I could capture some images of this great phenomena around us and turns out I could and that's how it all began. Of course, your number one priority in the air is safety, but then too, you want to capture some of these amazing images. How do you determine the bounce for that? When you're flying a long haul, typically there's not only two pilots, it's a three or even four. So you take turns at the controls. So when you're not at the controls, you can literally walk around the airplane. As long as there's not uh, something unusual that's requiring your attention, you usually have enough time, you know, to take a picture. So there's no problem. <laughs> Do you have a favorite time of day to take photos or perhaps a favorite weather phenomena to take photos of? Well, I love capturing storms because this is kind of something difficult to look with the naked eye. And it has to be at night uh, because these are long exposures. Typically, uh, a yeah, photo would will be two, three seconds long. So definitely, we want to be you know dark sky, no moon, and that's the pretty much the only way we uh, I can capture a storm during the night. And the rest is just luck. You know, I have to be very lucky. We have to be also in calm air. There has to be no turbulence because I don't have a tripod, so I'm just holding my camera with my hands so it's all uh, luck <laughs> what makes a great photograph in your experience you know this is not very common to have a pilot with a semi-professional camera uh being able to capture these storms so it it, it also involves you know being able to be at the right place uh, at the right time we certainly look forward to more of those bird's eye views from you. Santiago Borja, pilot and photographer, thank you for joining us. Thank you.